Hello, my name is Mel Mario. Welcome to Museum TV. I'm visiting today the Guggenheim Museum in New York and its current exhibition from Tsai Guo Zhang, I Want to Believe. The main message is that Tsai is an artist that is profoundly postmodern and profoundly an artist of the globalized era. He is an artist born in China in 1957, raised during a very tumultuous period, one of the most tumultuous periods in world history, has seen the cataclysmic changes, the collapse of ideologies, and one of the greatest shifts in human welfare. I actually think we have gone beyond, well beyond the paradigm of East and West. That is a basically 19th century and early to mid 20th century trope. It is a uh, construction that I really think is no longer relevant and no longer valid in a globalized world. However, I think it is extremely important that curators and scholars bring to their study of contemporary art created by Asian-born artists a certain expertise, a certain political understanding of the conditions from which that art arose, an understanding of the intellectual and cultural histories of the uh, modern and contemporary periods of those countries, those non-Western countries. I don't think we need to separate it out as a versus, as a East versus West, but what we need to do is understand many of the shared concerns, but the different languages the different dialects, uh, the different localities of modernity and contemporary art happening in non-Western centers around the world. Instability, change as constant, the idea that you have to destroy in order to create, the idea of a contradiction, uh, the idea that history can still be a valid source of artistic innovation, but in a space that's completely collapsed, eclectic borrowings from ancient philosophy, from Maoist tactics, from contemporary art, from popular science. This is what size art brings to us, is a vision, a visceral vision of contemporary culture that is unstable and terrifying, tolerant and beautiful. That installation took six weeks to install at the Guggenheim Museum. It is seven real cars suspended from the atrium ceiling, pierced with LED lights to simulate explosion, mm -hmm. to simulate fire explosion. And it is a representation, a very artistic reinvention and response to something we see every day in our newspapers, which is car bomb explosions. Mm -hmm. He is taking something that is uncomfortable, he's taking something that is threatening and terrifying, and a technology of warfare today in the 21st century, and re-presenting that to us in a spectacle that 
forces us to think about something we experience every day in the news and forcing us to a place of contemplation, forcing us to deal with that issue, which is so dominant in our political and cultural lives today. This is a boat, about a hundred-year-old boat, that Sai and a group of worker, volunteer workers, excavated off the coast of uh, a city in northeastern Japan in the early 2000s. And Sai has recreated this sunken boat uh, as a massive installation and weighted down this abstract sculpture, which is what it becomes, with several tons of broken shards of ceramic pottery uh, that is made, this white porcelain is uh, very famous in the area where Tsai grew up. It's another image of disaster. It's another image of history gone awry. But it is also very quiet and contemplative. And it's located at the end of this very dynamic and explosive installation that is exhausting to walk through. The exhibition is exhausting and exhilarating. And Sai very carefully designed this gallery to be the final resting place for the entire exhibition. It is called Reflection, and indeed we arrive here after the coursing through the Guggenheim show, six ramps and several side galleries of his installations and gunpowder drawings and explosion events and the car bomb installation in the central rotunda. And we come here and we feel tremendous quiet. We do feel reflection. I love this work.